Hello everyone, this is Ajisha, Assistant Professor, Department of Management Studies, Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. On completion, students will be able to explain the organization culture, understand the various trends and issues in management. In this video, first let us see the organization culture. Just as individuals have a personality, so do organizations. We refer to an organization's personality as its culture. Organizational culture is the shared values, principles, traditions, and ways of doing things that influence the way organizational members act. This implies, individuals perceive organizational culture based on what they see, hear, or experience within the organization. Organizational culture is shared by individuals within the organization. Organizational culture is a descriptive term. It describes, rather than evaluates. Seven dimensions of an organization's culture have been proposed. Innovation and risk-taking. The degree to which employees are encouraged to be innovative and take risks. Attention to detail. The degree to which employees are expected to exhibit precision, analysis, and attention to detail. Outcome orientation. Degree to which managers focus on results rather than techniques and processes used to achieve those outcomes. People orientation. The degree to which management decisions take into consideration the effect on people within the organization. Team orientation. The degree to which work activities are organized around teams rather than individuals. Aggressiveness. The degree to which people are aggressive and competitive rather than easygoing and cooperative. Stability. The degree to which organizational activities emphasize maintaining the status quo in contrast to growth. Next, we will see the classification of environmental factors. First, internal environmental factors. The internal environment is the environment that has a direct impact on the business. The internal factors are generally controllable because the company has control over these factors. It can alter or modify these factors. The internal environmental factors are resources, capabilities and culture. Second, external environment factors. It refers to the environment that has an indirect influence on the business. The factors are uncontrollable by the business. The two types of external environment are micro-environment and macro-environment. Micro-environmental factors. These are external factors close to the company that have a direct impact on the organization's process. Macro-environmental factors. The macro-environment consists of forces that originate outside of an organization and generally cannot be altered by actions of the organization. In other words, a firm may be influenced by changes within this element of its environment but cannot itself influence the environment. The general environment includes these broad external conditions that may affect the organization. Economic conditions include interest rates, inflation rates, changes in disposable income, stock market fluctuations, and the general business cycle. Political or legal conditions include the general political stability of countries in which an organization does business and the specific attitudes that elected officials have toward business. Socio-cultural conditions include the changing expectations of society. Societal values, customs, and tastes can change, and managers must be aware of these changes. Demographic conditions, including physical characteristics of a population can change, and managers must adapt to these changes. Technological conditions, which have changed more rapidly than any other element of the general environment. Global factors include global competitors and global consumer markets. Lastly, we will see the current trends and issues in management. Number 1. Globalization, organizational operations are no longer limited by national borders. Managers throughout the world must deal with new opportunities and challenges inherent in the globalization of business. 2. Ethics, cases of corporate lying, misrepresentations, and financial manipulations have been widespread in recent years. 3. Workforce diversity, it refers to a workforce that is heterogeneous in terms of gender, race, ethnicity, age, and other characteristics that reflect differences. 4. Entrepreneurship, it is the process whereby an individual or group of individuals use organized efforts to pursue opportunities to create value and grow by fulfilling wants and needs through innovation and uniqueness, no matter what resources the entrepreneur currently has. 5. Managing in an e-business world, e-business is a comprehensive term describing the way an organization does its work by using electronic linkages with its key constituencies in order to efficiently and effectively achieve its goals. 6. 
knowledge management and learning organizations, change is occurring at an unprecedented rate. To be successful, today's organization must become a learning organization one that has developed the capacity to continuously learn, adapt, and change. It involves cultivating a learning culture where organizational members systematically gather knowledge and share it with others in the organization so as to achieve better performance. Lastly, quality management. It is a philosophy of management that is driven by continual improvement and response to customer needs and expectations. The objective of quality management is to create an organization committed to continuous improvement in work. Hope this video benefits you. Thank you.